In the video today, I'm going to be showing you through my homeschool cart and why I use it the way that I do and how I use it. Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Tiffany and this is Hinterlife Homeschool. I um, create videos all around motherhood, organization and homeschooling, everything homeschooling. I'm super passionate about child-led learning and I'm also really passionate about organization, but not in the traditional sense, more in the sense of self-care and creating systems that enable this kind of lifestyle. So if those are things that you're interested in and passionate about as well, um, I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell for the notification button um, and don't miss a thing. Today, I wanted to take you through um, a little nifty little hack that quite a few homeschool mamas have caught on to, um, especially lately, I've been noticing. Um, and it is because it's, it's kind of brilliant. Um, this is my homeschool cart. Literally everything that you see in here is our homeschool. This has got everything we need in order to homeschool. Um, and this is, a, this is a game changer. Okay, so in my cart, we have two um, binders. And in these binders are everything that we need in order to homeschool throughout our day. Uh, it has all of our workbooks and it has all of our um, folders in which we literally keep all of our printables or work or projects or things like that for each subject. So I'll take you through that a little bit later in the video, but this is definitely something that is fantastic for families that like to um, move around in their homeschool. This is literally all that my daughter needs to take in order for us to homeschool if we want to go on holiday and still bring our school with us. Um, if we want to go, uh, you know, outside, this is all she needs to bring. Uh, it's super easy and it is, I've been doing this for almost a year now, or maybe a little bit under a year. Uh, it feels like it is the perfect balance for us in terms of uh, paper and um, being able to easily just keep records of our school, um, of, of my children's schooling and being able to report and find the things that we need to at the end of the year in order to do our reports easily. Um, and I'll, I'll take you through a tour of these particular um, folders and how we use them and why I've set them up the way that they, they are a little bit later in the video. But for now, I just thought I'd show you the reason why I've got these two shelves down the bottom here empty because we have, a little while ago, I did a video on, I've got an organization series. I'll put a card up in case you wanna check those out in case you haven't. Um, the fantastic thing about this cart is that it is on wheels and it can be moved around. So we use these two shelves. These are dedicated to all other subjects, like extracurricular type stuff, like art, um, things that you need supplies for, science, um, things that you need, you know, math with manipulatives, all of that kind of stuff. Everything, all of that is found in our cupboard, um, our homeschool cupboard. It's, you know, got toys, it's got board games, it's got our art and our craft stuff. So the reason for that is that everything that we physically need, like the, the little bits and pieces, all of those things that can kind of overtake your home and so easily become hard to manage or lost, um, they're expensive and they're hard to keep a track of. And that's why I created um, this system with our homeschool cart. And it's been a real game changer for us. It makes things so much easier when we have a platform to keep it on. We can move that it back into the cupboard. If we don't have a chance to put it away straight away, that's okay. It'll just be sitting in the in this cart until we do put it away. And it will be 
so easy to put away in that cupboard because everything has a label and everything knows where it belongs. Like we all know where they belong. So it's literally a five minute job once you've actually got it on the cart and put it to the cupboard and empty it out when you get a chance. And it's no pressure, it's out of sight, it's out of the way and we can go about our normal, normal day once we've done those lessons. So we use Freely Homeschool Planner for all of our PDF curriculum. So for example, um, we are doing, uh, for this year, we'll be doing Blossom and Roots um, and they all come in PDF, which is fantastic. So I use, I don't even print anything out for, for uh, the teacher guide and um, a lot of the bits and pieces that come with that curriculum, I don't need to print out. The only things that I need to print out are the student books if I want to or, you know, printables and things like that. So the cool thing is, is that I don't have to have a lot of physical clutter in my homeschool because I try to keep everything in PDF. Um, and it, I'll, I'll do a video in very soon um, because I have been asked a couple of times how I actually do that. Cause I know it sounds a little crazy to be able to use a PDF in the way that I'm explaining but it works really well and it saves a ton of time, a ton of money on printing out these physical things that you really only use once, let's be real. Like it, it's really hard um, to, you know, go to the expense of printing all these things out in color because they're so beautiful. How could you not print them in color? Um, but to see them on a screen in color is just as good. Um, so I don't feel that we lose anything by doing that, apart from the fact that we don't have the clutter to deal with, which is a bonus. Um, so other than that, when I don't have, when I have like physical workbooks, like there's no getting around having physical workbooks and I don't have a problem with that. It's just, they can get too much. So I try to keep it to a minimum. So math, there's definitely math, um, workbooks that we have that we need to go through. Um, so we keep all of that and I use these little magazine holders. So I've got two magazine holders. I've got um, our little magnet. This is for our All About uh, Reading program. So that's cool. We've got all of our work letter that stays on there. We've got our targeting spelling books that we've just gotten for this year and our handwriting books and I just keep a, a loose paper um, for math type stuff and any projects that I haven't quite um, you know put into the folder system yet uh, this is quite a big one. Isaac just needs to finish colouring that in. So we've just got it sitting here ready to be finished off. So that is my um, homeschool cart. And I will take you through a tour of our little um, folder systems that we've created as well. I'm just going to take you through my son's folder system to begin with um, and you can kind of get an idea of how perhaps you might be able to incorporate something like this. Uh, so basically we have, um, I've combined our subjects. So for this section we've got English and Social Studies and what we have here is just a folder of things that is in progress. So this is yet to be finished. So that includes projects that might have been started but not quite finished off. Um, so there might be some things that we might need to, to address there. Um, so we haven't finished that. So it goes straight into this folder. And we know that this is yet to be finished. Then we've got our actual book. So he can do his writing in this book. We don't do a ton of writing. So these books do last us quite a while because they are pretty substantial. Um, then we've got our actual finished work as well. So these are all like perhaps samples or just things that I can file away um, at the end of the year. Now, this is all stuff that we want to keep. Anything that we've done that we're not 
super keen on or we don't love and we're not going to be using it as a sample i let the kids decide what they want to do so they have some of their um, schoolwork hanging up on their walls as well so it just depends on where you want to put it but predominantly it goes into these folders and they hold quite a bit by the end of the year they're fairly full and i can choose what to do with them at the end of the year but i know where everything is because it's broken up into those subjects and it makes finding samples super easy so for science we've been fairly light because we're doing lots of uh, hands-on learning and science experiments so we've got art and hpe we have also been fairly light with um hpe because we've just started our um subjects on uh, puberty so we'll be filling this up with all of our little projects that we're, we've just started um, so we've got some art things that we've done in here as well. We did add a little bit of an um, art experiment too. And then we've got lots of finished work because we have been quite heavy with art um, this year or this term, which is great. So lots of kind of hands-on learning with art. Um, most of his artwork is actually on his wall as well because he loves keeping his work on his wall where he can actually see it and have it on display, which is fantastic. Um, so here is math. We've just got one more little project to do for math and then we're finished with that area. I've actually got his book <laughs> on there. Just realised I've actually taken his book out because we've got some stuff that he's finishing off. Um, but here is the finished work as well. So you can see that we've done, you know, lots and lots of math stuff um, with lots of projects and things. So these are all printables. So what I do at the begin the beginning of a lesson is I, or even on the weekend before we start our school week is I actually print out any printables or anything that I might need and I put it into this folder. So then we know that we're all set and when we get to that lesson in Freely, I go ahead and open up the teacher guide and then we fill, fill in our, um, our printables and things like that. And if we finish them, we put them into this folder. Or if we feel that it wants to, it needs to get like pasted into some of the things, you know, you need to show you're working out. Okay, so I've just gotten his math book. And just to show you, so this is one that we've been using. Um, this is from um, Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum. This is like a project thing. I think um, my son really enjoys doing hands, like very realistic kind of math approaches. So we tend to do lots of unit studies and things like that. So this particular one um, is from uh, my pet shop uh, and it's Simply Charlotte Mason. And it is fantastic. It's him actually literally owning a business and running a business on paper. Um, so he's learning lots and lots of stuff about percentages, markup, um, how that kind of thing works, showing all of his working out, really getting an understanding on, you know, how to price his items. Um, so, yeah, so when I am starting at the, on the weekend, before we start our, our school week, we go ahead and I look through freely and I actually um, print out all of the things that we might need for that week and I pop them in here so he can fill them in during the week. And he knows when he gets to his lessons, he can see in freely what he needs to do. And it's super easy. I can open up the teacher guide and know exactly what I need to do and what to tell him. And um, then we go through our day. So that is the folder system. That is how it works really well with freely and really well with um, just in general, in general homeschooling. Um, and I used to keep, I've done many different kinds of, um, you know, organization methods. And by far, this is definitely the most organized. It's a lot easier, um, a lot easier. And I just tend to know where everything is and it's not heavy. It's not, you know, the kids can still carry it around. It's still enough to be able to, you know, um, take places and it doesn't fill up the bag too too much or anything like that. Um, but this is just, this is how
how I homeschool and this works really well for me. Um, it's, I think it's probably on the more minimal side. Um, I tend to be that way in a lot of things that we do, but um, it works for us. We don't have a huge home and we don't have a homeschool room. This is our homeschool space, but it is part of the entire you know, it's in the main living area of our home where the kitchen is just there and the dining room's over there. And it feels cozy, it's warm and inviting, and it's not too cluttered or too busy. And that's how I like it. And that's how the kids like it. And um, this really works well for us. So I just thought I'd suggest that, um, you know, I thought I'd make this video just for, you know, putting it out there that it is possible to homeschool in certain, in different ways, especially from a minimal perspective, uh, where you don't have a whole lot of stuff. You know, you could so easily have something like this um, set up on a shelf in a caravan if you were traveling. Um, and this would be quite an easy way to, to do that. Or if you were just in a tiny home or, you know, um, you just didn't wanna, you know, have homeschool take over your entire house. <laughs> So this is my uh, homeschool cart. I hope you enjoyed it. If I've missed anything or you see anything here that you really like and I haven't linked it, let me know. I can I can let you I can do my best to find out you know what it was or where to find it. Um, but essentially, all of these things like the um, the covers I've gotten from uh, Etsy as printables. I'll try and link them in below. Uh, these are great. I just like to have a little bit of prettiness in our folders. I've, you know, you'll see that I've covered all of our books as well. I mean, you don't have to do that. You certainly don't have to do that. It's just, I find that the kids really get excited when I do things like that. They really like things to look aesthetically pre pleasing and less school-like. So um, covering them and making them look pretty works for them. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you see that um, maybe a cart would be a really great addition to your homeschool if you haven't got one. I'll link that in the description box below as well. Uh, let me know what is your favorite homeschool um, resource or homeschool uh, equipment or thing that helps you every single day because this is certainly mine. <laughs> And um, I hope that you might, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you might subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love you to uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Um, I uh, create videos weekly and sometimes twice weekly. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.